Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so, well, it's been a couple of days since I have uh, since I've uploaded um, and there has been a lot going on of course number one it's the Christmas season always a very very busy time in my family lots going on lots to prepare I always I always start my Christmas shopping around September sort of late summer I start my Christmas shopping so when everybody's still thinking about their suntan and enjoying that really nice weather I'm <laughs> I'm secretly preparing for Christmas, so for that December, which I kind of really enjoy. I love and I love coming into Halloween and I absolutely love Halloween. Um, and then into November, I'm pretty much finished. And then the kind of the rush starts because I help the rest of my, my, my brothers and my father with the Christmas shopping as well. So you could call me as I was called at work this year, Mr. Christmas, because everybody knew and I talked about Christmas since probably midsummer this year. Um, of course, it's been a really, really difficult year um, for, a, for a lot of people. But for myself, I'm finding it very, very difficult this festive season. And you all know I was in a very difficult place on my last clip. So if you are a subscriber of mine, and a subscriber of mine rather, and you do follow me, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. That was a very, very low time, and I've had quite a few low days this festive season without my nan. I lost my nan back in May of this year. Um, my nan is my world. Um, I've been blessed with an absolutely amazing family. I really, really have. My mum is an absolute cherished, cherished lady incredible 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 person in this world and i'm so so blessed that she's my mum my dad i'm absolutely really close with him we talk all the time my parents my world my grandmother was kind of like the third the third strong figure at the table for me parents it's almost like i had three parents I mean, I've been blessed in this life for that. I truly have been. And to lose one is really, really difficult. And to face Christmas is, number one, it still has to carry on. I'm telling myself because my, my grandmother lived a long time after um, my grandfather passed away, her husband. And and this is the first one they'll be together in heaven in 27 years. And that's what I'm telling myself. Um, my nan had Alzheimer's, but she was a very, very strong lady. And it was almost like that she held two fingers up to that illness. Um, anybody who knows Alzheimer's, is it's a robbing illness. It robs that person of absolutely everything. But myself and my mum stood by my nan every single step of the way. And my nan was still my nan, whatever, regardless of whatever. Me and my mum worked together. We loved and cherished my nan right up until her last breath. And of course, forever and always. But we worked at really keeping nan as nan. We were her memory. But nan took it in her stride. You know what? She was incredibly, incredible. Um, it was an incredible lady anyway. But her willpower, her tenacity and her strength. The life was a real true inspiration. And to not have that now and to be left with pictures and memories and all those beautiful things. I'll be quite honest. It's difficult. It's really, really difficult. So, moving away from that, I've had difficult days, and I do have probably every day I have a difficult moment. Um, and I think that's always going to be when you and I found great comfort in my faith. Um, I pray all the time. Um, it brings me a lot of clarity. It brings me a lot of um, comfort. And actually, I see. Um, I thought out the uh, support from the reverend who uh, took my nan's funeral service and looked after us throughout my nan's passing. And I, I seen him a couple of weeks ago and I'm actually seeing him tomorrow to help me um, kind of deal with everything going on. Um, so that's really, really great. So that's happening tomorrow. What have I done today? I have been to the dentist. So I've had my Christmas and I say Christmas, Christmas polish and scar. And I absolutely love it. So I haven't been able to have one because of COVID and through colds and one thing or another, pushing the appointment back. But Christmas, I always have to, I always have to have it. I absolutely love my teeth. The polishing, and that sounds vain, doesn't it? I love my teeth being ultra white. Um, it's, I'm not vain. I'm not uh, overly confident and I don't think I'm it or anything like that, regardless of the messages and things I receive. Um, I, I, it's a personal thing I absolutely love, so that's what I've done today. Let's just jump back for about the past five days where I haven't kind of been uploading very often. So let's go back for a couple of days. So on the Thursday, so I broke up from work for Christmas on the 15th. The 16th was the anniversary of my grandfather, um, who we lost, who we lost when I was only one years old, and that was 27 years. 
on that day, me and my mum went for lunch. We'd done some Christmas shopping. It was really, very, very lovely. Um, then the following day on the Friday, I had the highlighted, the highlight set of my hair, which I absolutely love. Looks really, really cool. Um, that was really, really nice. And then the, in the afternoon, Christmas shopping, wrapping. Saturday, went out with my mum. My mum's my best friend. And done more Christmas shopping. Spent some time with the family in the afternoon, chatted with my niece over the phone, um, lots of lots of things sort of brother related, sort of laughs, jokes, that one thing and another. Had a um, really nice evening with mum and dad, which was absolutely lovely. Um, nice food, nice wine, films, um, and with my oldest brother, which was really, really cool. Um, then the Sunday, threw myself into wrapping. Do excuse all of this, by the way, as well. This is... This is nothing. I have got my room is absolutely full here. This is like my office area here, this little bit. And this room is absolutely crammed, packed with all my gifts and things. This year, because of Nan and one thing or another, I've left the wrapping a little bit later. So I'm just finishing up with that. So Sunday, I really threw myself into that. Um, really, really pleased actually Friday because I've been studying um, for quite a few years now in my accountancy. I took a break because of ill health operations and losing Nan. So I spoke to the actual. Um, the qualification. I won't go into that too much detail. That'll be something for the new for the new year. Um, so I'm going to be throwing myself into my into my studies next year again, picking that up, which is great. Um, that was really really great. Now losing my grandmother, I, I I spoil my family. I absolutely spoil my family. You'd be surprised the gifts and things I buy, and I would always spend around a couple of hundred pounds on my nan for Christmas. Always, mum, dad couple of hundred pounds each, my nan, couple of hundred pounds each. Now, I absolutely am not saying that for a reason, oh, look at me, I can afford it type thing. I truly do believe with the things which have happened in my family that we should treat each day as an absolute blessing. And if you're cherished to have a beautiful family, then absolutely spoil them if you can. But that does not mean that you have to spend endless amounts of money. A few pounds can be an absolute beautiful gift and the thought behind it can be absolutely cherished and loved for a whole lifetime. So please do not think I'm saying that because I am not. Christmas is not about gifts at all. Um, if you can shower and love your family with just a few pounds, fantastic. If you do want to go all out, my family do. But the real sense behind it is you could wipe the gifts off to one side, family Christmas is family. It's about those beautiful moments. It's stripping it right back. And it's simply that everybody sat around a table or everybody in that comfort, that close proximity of family, the ones who mean the most to you, that love, that affection. If the world was going to end in five minutes, all of those around you, those people who mean everything to you with laughter, with love, with a few drinks, with a really beautiful atmosphere, a few sort of nice festive moments, jokes, laughter, reminiscing over Christmases from long ago, past, and hopefully ones to come. But no, like my nan used to say, Christmas brings joys and sorrows, and not one of us knows if we're going to see another one. So I do that. So this year, the money what I would have spent on my nan, I always give a Christmas donation to the Salvation Army and the uh, the Alzheimer's uh, research, which is the illness which my nan had. So this year, I am happy to report, I'm not going to say why, because I don't want comments. I've had quite a lot of nasty comments actually recently. Um, but I just say, bless them. I actually, I feel for you that you have to come onto somebody's channel who would absolutely help anybody in this world. And I would never be nasty to absolutely anybody. And I actually forgive you for those comments. And I think life is so precious that I just have not got the time. I would never, ever ill speak of anybody. I hate nobody. I have no enemies at all. And why people feel they have those comments, I think is truly sad. But getting back to what I was saying, I'm really happy to report that this year, because of new jobs and things and increases in salary, I am really pleased to be able to report that I gave a really lovely, nice chunk to the Alzheimer's research in my grandmother's name, my nan's name. And I spoke to the lady over the phone. So that happened Friday as well. So that was really nice. So I went out for a lovely meal with my mum. The charity donation was really, really great. Lots of Christmas shopping done, lots of wrapping done. Then on the Monday, which was really, really cool yesterday, of course, um, I went out with my twin brother, close, close, close with my twin brother all the time. Um, so that was really lovely. We went out with my niece, so his little daughter as well. And that was just beautiful, running around with her. And we went Christmas shopping together, which was lovely. And then in the evening with uh, my twin brother, his partner, which I'm very, very good friends with, and my niece. So their little family and me. And we went for a lovely dinner yesterday evening, which was really nice too. And then I come home, threw myself into crying Christmas shopping. And then today, polishing scale this morning, really, really super early. Um, 
more Christmas shopping and running around for people who aren't quite done yet in my family. Um, wrapping, had a really nice meal, um, spent time with mum, my eldest brother today, went up, done some more Christmas shopping this afternoon. So really, really great, great day, really great. Loved it. Um, what's the plan for tomorrow? plan for tomorrow is I'm actually seeing the reverend who took my nan's service first thing in the morning. Um, probably more gift wrapping and then the, I think I'm actually going out for lunch um, with my mum tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if one of my brothers may be joining us, I'm not 100% sure. Still lots to do, it's the 21st of December, um, preparations, getting things ready. Christmas Eve this year, really, really interesting. We usually do the Christmas Eve get together, sort of party, whatever you want to call it, um, in the family home. This year, I've got a brother. I've got, I've got a couple of brothers. <laughs> got three brothers, but this year we're going to his, so it should be really, really lovely. Um, and I can't wait for Christmas. It will just be really, really nice. It will be. It will be. It will be heartbreaking at the same time about my nan, but it will be lovely. I think Christmas is a beautiful, magical time, and it, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, one of my favourite things to do actually is baking. I haven't really had time to do that because it's been such a busy season with lots going on. Um, it's nice not to have work at the moment. I've got another two weeks off, which is really, really lovely. I have got most of my Christmas wrapping done, food preparations and things. We have like a catering order for Christmas this year. We've done that for the last couple of years, which is lovely. And then the last final shops, we usually go into several supermarkets. Um, we're doing that with my mum and my eldest brother, which would be really cool later this week before Christmas Eve. So that's going to be really, really great. Um, there will be more coming on the channel that will be slowing down and then like I done last year and the year before I will be uploading a Christmas Eve clip which is very very short and then I will sign off until January. Um, may even throw some singing in there I'm not sure yet because I absolutely love seeing Christmas carols. Christmas is such a magical time isn't it? I absolutely love it. And I love, you know a lot of people hate these but you know the Channel 5 Christmas movies, they're usually a lot of them are American. That's one of my favourite things to watch at Christmas and I absolutely love that. So I haven't really had too much time to do that so hopefully I can grab that. Christmas cake, my most, I love Christmas cake. I usually make one but this year I haven't. Um, because I ordered some really nice single single cakes um, from the shopping channel, actually, believe it or not, which were really, really nice, and they were handmade and sent through. So I've done lots of that on, on there, on um, the shopping channel, actually, which has been really, really great. Um, yeah, what else has been going on? Lots, been really, really busy. Um, yeah, can't really, can't really think of anything else what's been going on the last couple of days, actually. Um, there will be several, I, I'm not sure whether or not before Christmas I'm going to be able to get a review in, um, but there are one or two products which I'm using at the moment. I definitely want to show you and have a look at the uh, highlights, which I really, really like. Um, that went really, really well. Surprisingly, it only took two hours, which was really a shock to me, and it was a great experience. Um, and as I say in my clip when I uploaded that, I was really pleased with the lady who done it as well. So absolutely where I go is... I think that rapport of whoever styles or cuts your hair or whatever, if it's colour, if it's highlights or whatever, that, that rapport is so, so essential. Um, and Christmas Christmas time, everybody wants to look their best, don't they? Everybody wants to feel their best. And that, that magic, that sort of sense of goodwill and happiness. But I think having that understanding that there are some people where Christmas is difficult for a lot of people and it has a mixture of emotions. And I think I'm really realising that this year, especially because there is somebody absent from my Christmas. Um, I actually found this um, recently. I'm just going to share this with you and it brought me a lot of comfort. So this is a picture of my lovely nanny. It's a metallic frame. So here she is, my glamorous nanny, and who is now in heaven, my grandfather. And I've come across this and I want to read you this here. I want to read you this here. So, missing you at Christmas. Christmas is a time where those you love are always near, but the season is now lonelier because you're no longer here. Traditions don't feel as special. There are no gift tags of your name. The only wish I make now at Christmas is the chance to see you again. But whenever I need comfort, I find strength to get by. I feel your warmth by the fire. I see you shining bright in the sky. You surround each festive moment and you're in the cold wintry air. So if I'm feeling lost or sad, you're in my heart and you'll always be there. So I'm holding on to that. Um, and anybody else who is going through a very difficult time, I urge you 
to take comfort from those words as well. I'm just straighten my nouns picture up. I urge you to take comfort from those words too. Um, but yeah, Christmas is a huge, it's a huge toll on your emotions, isn't it? It's a very lovely, magical time, but it can also be uh, a very, it can be a very challenging time. But I hope that everybody who's watching this has an amazing Christmas and is enjoying their festive season and the holiday season, whatever you refer to it as now. Remember, as I've been saying all season, make the most of every moment. Slow time right down. And when I say that, I don't mean being stupid or anything like that, like create something or, oh, what on earth is he going on about? Is actually enjoy the small things. So if you've got 101 things to do, but you've got a family member who's suggesting to go and have lunch or to go and do some Christmas shopping or to go for a festive uh, sort of get together or something of that nature, do it. Pause what you've got going on because there will always be time. But those offers sometimes are far and few. And of course, as we go into this very uncertain time with the new uh, variant of the virus here in the Western world, um, which is quite frightening to be quite honest with you, we do not know what's ahead. Nobody knows what is ahead in this life at all, more so with this virus. The amount of uncertainty is sometimes very worrying. So I think slow that time down this Christmas season. Enjoy what you can. And that's not to say that there won't be many more Christmases to have, because hopefully there will be. But enjoy each one and make those special cherished memories, because that's exactly what they are. Cherished memories. OK, so that's my update. Um, if you're still here listening, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It means the, it means the world to me. I've had a few, do you know what I mean, groggy comments at the moment, but I'm not going to let that get me down because I've got some really, really great subscribers and every single one, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and a very, very big thank you for your love and support this year. It's been a difficult year, it really has. So thank you. Thank you for being here and for every single second people have sat at their screen, their tablet, their phone and watched me. Thank you. It really does mean the world to me. So until my next clip, keep enjoying this season, take great care, love yourself, remember, make time for yourself and love those and hold those nearest and dearest to you. Okay, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, I'll be seeing you real soon. God bless, take great care, bye bye now.